You can save thousands of dollars by buying used lenses, but you also take on certain risk in the process. Here are a few things you should consider before buying a used lens. The first is to check the source you are buying from. Used gear can be purchased from local camera shops, online retailers, as well as online photography groups. The most important factor when buying secondhand gear is to know you are buying from a trustworthy and reliable source. We recommend reading customer reviews before making any purchases. Next is the eye test. If you're physically able to hold the lens, we suggest giving it a look over. A lens body may show minor signs of wear from the hands, sweat, and the elements, but dings and deep scratches are a bad sign. Examine the glass on both ends for any major blemishes. Another way to further inspect the lens is to shine light through it. Hold a small flashlight at one end and look through to the other. It's possible that dust will get inside the lens, but small particles will not impact the picture quality. However, larger particles or clumps will require the lens to go through an extensive cleaning process. A commonly overlooked step is checking the aperture blades. Make sure the aperture blades move smoothly and are not damaged by changing the aperture settings. In most cases, you'll need to mount the lens to your camera body to check it. Check the threads. Oftentimes, the threads at the end of the lens to accept filters can become damaged. This kind of damage is something you'll want to avoid if you plan on using any filters on the lens. On most modern lenses, there are contact points at the back of the lens that pass through electronic information from the camera body. There should be no physical damage to the contact points since dirt, dust, and grime buildup can cause communication errors between the lens and the camera body. If a lens zooms, make sure it does so smoothly. In most cases, mounting it to the body isn't necessary, but it's still a good idea. The lens should zoom smoothly from end to end. It's important to check the focus of the lens mounted to a camera. Ideally, the autofocus should happen smoothly and crisply. If you found any of these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.